Hi everyone, before I start, I would like to apologize for the quality of the first part of the video. I tried a new setup so that I could use my sketchbook on an easel and uh, it didn't work very well at first and you'll see I did do a lot of editing but you'll see at some point that the camera started to go down a bit and down and down and down so you'll see it move a little bit throughout the first part of the video. But once I realized it was going on, I figured out another way to make it work and the second part is a lot better. So in this video, I decided to pick up my oils again. I haven't uh, painted with oils in a long, long time, uh, several years, and I've been dying to do it again. Because I wanted to get warmed up again before I started a painting, I decided to do a couple of sketches in my sketchbook. So I primed the paper with gesso and I let it dry and then I picked up my water soluble oils. I really enjoy them and I've tried several brands. My favorite so far is the Dino Smith. They really work like traditional oils. So I did two sketches. The first one I wanted to do it just monochromatics. So just a black and white sketch basically. I used a black, a white, and a blue, so it wouldn't be too black and white. And I just mixed my grays that way. And the reason why I did that, again, is because I haven't used oils in such a long time. I just wanted to ease myself back into them. And I also wanted to try two different methods. So the difference between water-soluble oils and the regular, more traditional oils is that the paint molecules were modified so that you could actually use water as a medium and a solvent as well so you can clean up your brushes with water and then you can thin your oils with with water as well so you basically can use it like acrylic paint or watercolors so for the top painting i only used water with the paint and i just put a little bit of water on my palette and i thinned down my paint with it uh, it works very very well it really is just as if you were using a medium or linseed oil or whatever you use with your oils usually. The texture was still very creamy and it worked really well.
Now, if you're not sure about using water-soluble oils, uh, especially just using it with water, you can use mediums and oils that are water-soluble as well. So for my second sketch, the one at the bottom, I decided to use some colors, not a huge variety, but enough to make it look more like the reference picture that I used. And it's the same reference picture that I use for both sketches. I still use water to clean up my brushes. I use the water as the solvent, and then I use some water-soluble linseed oil. So I put a little bit on my palette, and that's how I started mixing my paint. Now I did see a huge difference. It felt like the paint was a lot creamier and I was able to spread it a lot easier on the paper. Not that using the water only was not easy. It's just different. It's, it was gliding, but it's oil. Um, so of course it's slippery, right? Um, but everything was mixing just well, just like with the top sketch using just water, everything was blending nicely. But I think I had a little bit more resistance, but I was very slight. Now, if you stick with this video till the end, you will see the difference uh, with the finish. I let the paintings dry for about a week. They dry really, really quick. The following day, they were already dry to the touch. But uh, about a week later, I just wanted to make sure that they were nice and dry. And I'm showing the finish and you'll, you'll see that the top one uh, is a lot more matte. It, it does shine a tiny little bit, but it, really not very much. The bottom one is a lot shinier and that's probably because of the linseed oil that I used as the medium. Now I was explaining that I thought that the the paint was mixing really well with the water soluble linseed oil and also because of that i did have a harder time adding uh, extra layers right away and i feel like if i wanted to build my layers to an effect that i like i would probably have to let the painting dry a bit uh, and go back. I had a hard time actually building my values with this sketch. It was much easier, I thought, with the um, the top sketch. And I think that probably because the water that I used as a medium evaporated much faster and the layers were drying a lot faster. A bit like acrylic, but not that fast. So um, the paint was a little stickier and I was able to add layers and build my values easier than with the colored sketch. I hope it makes sense and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask. Also one last thing, water soluble paints they dry really quick to the touch. Uh, however, just like regular oils you will have to wait uh, quite a while depending on the thickness of the paint that you put on your canvas for the paint to actually dry all the way. Alright, that's it for my little sketches. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.